I'll take that. Mine! Give me! Yes! <laughs> oh, hiya! I'm Percy, the cat with all the hats. And if you're gonna walk by me, you've gotta pay the hat tax. What? You don't know what the hat tax is? All right, let me explain. Basically, if I'm lounging on my fancy little cutie duty self hammock and um, you decide to walk by with a hat on, then you must give me your hat. It's as simple as that. Beanies, bagged. Baseball caps, caught. Any kind of headwear, hooked, baby. Now you might be asking yourself, why must you take my hat, Percy? And my answer to that is, uh, because! <laughs> my favorite target of all, my dad! He's always walking by, beheaded. I mean, if you had a sweet hangout spot like me, you'd be taking everyone's hats too! And oh my gosh, do you hear that? Percy, it's me, the hat! Grab me, Percy, it'll be funny! Oh my gosh, Pat, is that you? You are so right. I'm gonna do it. Yay! I love you, Percy! You're the best cat in the world! And you're so handsome and really cool! Oh, Hat, stop. You're too sweet. Okay, bye! Oh, here he comes now. One hat for me. Oh, and another hat for me. Get back here. You must pay the hat tax. Now, look, I'm not exactly sure if my human likes it when I take his hat. You need to stop grabbing my hat. Oh no, I'm good. But he can't be mad at me when he's the one that built me my super mega awesome jungle gym in the first place. I mean, look at this thing. I can go over here and then I go back here. Woohoo! Before this, I was just climbing doors and little ladders. I was even climbing my human. Oh, this is nice. But now, I've got so many shelves to climb and so many hats to steal. <laughs> so if he didn't want me taking his hats, then he shouldn't have made this shelf the perfect hat stealing height. I can just stick my paw out and voila, a hat. Now I know what you're thinking. Percy, what do you do with all these hats? Do you wear them sometimes all at once? Well, no. Wearing hats isn't really my style. We're beanie bros. Okay, I love you, but now please remove this. So what do I do with all these hats? Well, after I hold it in my paw for a solid three seconds, I let it drop! Oh yeah, you heard me. To the floor it goes! Where it becomes a vital part of my endless hat pile. Oh, isn't it beautiful? It's tiny right now, but one day, my pile of hats and beanies and caps will fill this entire house. And then, It'll get even bigger! And it'll take over the world! And I'll be the ruler of Hat Cat Land! And everyone will have to pay the hat tax. Meow! 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 Wow! Okay, totally kidding. The hats literally just sit on the floor till a human comes by and picks them up. But I think my other story is a lot more fun, don't you think? Well, that's all the time I have. I've got to get back to collecting hats. Ooh, this one's pretty. A hat for me? Oh, why, thank you. A boopity boop. Oh. Come by again anytime. But next time, you better come back with a hat for me. <laughs> oh, man. Hello. I noticed you were noticing this beautiful box. I scratched it myself. I'm Calvin. I'm a big box fan. Specifically, this box. My one and only box. Forever and ever and- Buddy, I think that we have to throw away your box. What? Why? This box is everything. It's comfortable. It contours to the body. It has a peephole for spying. And a cover for hiding. Plus, I'm always making improvements. Calvin, did you do this? It really ties the room together. Why would anyone not want this in their living room? Because it's a shredded mess of ribbons? Says who? Me and the box are one. 
Would you take a nest away from a bird? Or take away cheese from macaroni? Or one of those little birds that eats ticks away from a hippo? You wouldn't, hmm? right? Exactly. I remember when I first found the box. It was filled with knickknacks. Nothing of note, really. And yet, it called to me. Calvin, Calvin. I just had to get to it and make it mine. Ah, <sighs> and then I was home. If you need me, I'll be in here. Without the box, where would I sleep? Dirt? Here is one bad option. I'm afraid of heights. He also could sleep in here. Where are the walls? We've got this nice couch. It's got a dog on it. And lastly, we have this entire bed that he could sleep on. I choose box. What's this thing? What do you think about your new box? Hmm? Okay, that's fine. I know. Why don't you put all the new boxes in a row and I'll pick one I like. This one! See? Fits me perfectly. We did it! Case closed. Okay, whoa. And that's enough of that. Could a new box do this? Just an update. He still has his box. We're gonna keep it until it disintegrates. <laughs> oh, box. My sweet box. I told you we would be victorious. Just need to. Perfect. Just perfect. Go, go, go! Uh, Bryson, where are we going? I bet it's somewhere super special. Look out for that cabinet! Nice steering, bud. Are we getting closer? Uh-oh, I think we're stuck. Push! Uh, it's no use, I tell you. Utterly hopeless! Oh, thanks, Mom. Are we at the special place already? No? Aw. Ooh, so much cabin space. But we might go faster if we took out some of these toys. Oh no, not again. Now we'll never get to the special place. What would we do without you, Mom? All right, rev that engine. Pause to the pavement. I mean, pause to the kitchen floor. Now this is a sweet ride. But are you sure we're supposed to be outside? I can't wait to find out where we're going. It's magical. This place was worth the journey. Like and subscribe for more. Ah!